Cubs. Friends and hockey fans, my name is Jordan Meaty, and this is the Ottawa Senators from Toronto. Just a little unsteady late in the game, but a 3-2 regulation win against Vancouver is a 3-2 regulation win against Vancouver. Should the Sens go out of their way with assets to acquire Colorado Avalanche centerman Matt Duchesne? The Avs aren't happy with their results so far. They're near the bottom of a central division that shows no signs of slowing down, and GM Joe Sackick would like to make a change. But he's not going to ship Matt Duchesne for nothing. The Sens will have to give up some assets in order to get him out of Colorado. My understanding is that the Avalanche will want potential upside and longevity. We could be talking Curtis Lazar, Patrick Weirkosh, or Cody Ceci. Keep in mind that GM Brian Murray will likely want to ship Colin Greening's contract in a trade. TSN's Bob McKenzie has reported that everyone on Ottawa's blue line not named Eric Carlson, even Mark Mathot, could be included in a deal for a top six forward. That is significant. So let's take a closer look at 24-year-old Matt Duchesne. This season, he's on pace for about 56 points with a cap hit of $6 million through 2018-19. The Sens currently have six forwards on pace for 60 points or more. Let's take a look at some of Duchesne's advanced numbers over his career. Since the 24-year-old entered the league, excluding his first season, he's got 2.50 points per 60, which among league centers is 16th in that time span. That puts him in the range of players like Joe Pavelski, David Krejci, Patrice Bergeron, and on the higher end, Jonathan Taves. Where Duchesne falls behind slightly is his 5-on-5 shot attempts percentage. 47.8, 66th among NHL centers with 300 plus games played in the last five seasons. I am in no way an advanced stats wizard, not even close, but the high shot attempts against is enough for me to ring the warning bells. I don't have any warning bells. The Ottawa Senators have at least three centers with better possession numbers. Kyle Turris, Mika Zibanejad, and Zach Smith. And the Senators already give up enough shots as it is. My conclusion, keep looking and equally focus on the search for a top four defenseman. Now let's check out what a few of you had to say over on Twitter. Desmond tweets, Turris Ryan Duchesne, a pretty nice top line, would have to give up some good young players like Paul Prince, Lazar, or CeCe. Jonathan Ward tweets, they lack depth and defensemen. Players in play, Zibanejad, Prince, Pumple, Lazar, Weidman, Cowan, and CeCe. McCulloch to balance salary a little bit. Carl Schwanier tweets, Heck yeah, Duchesne improves our forwards and our D by getting rid of Cowan, Borvietsky, and Weirkosh. Might cost, but you get what you pay for. And before we finish up, I ran a Twitter poll asking if the Sens should go out of their way to require Matt Duchesne. And more than half of you said yes. Regardless, very intriguing development. That's it for this video. My name is Jordan Mitty, and this is the Ottawa Senators on SFT.